Hi, I am Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company, and I have a review today comparing the Twisby Classic with the Twisby Mini and the Twisby 580. I know with Twisby coming out with so many pens that seem kind of similar to each other, I've been getting a lot of questions about what makes these pens different, which is what I'm going to cover here in this video today. Classic. So I've got the Twisby Classic box here. This box is different than the box for the 580. You can see the box for 580 is a bit of a honker compared to the Classic box. The classic box is considerably smaller. The pen itself is a little bit smaller, sure, uh, but the Twisby 580 box, it's kind of in here with all this foam packaging. It's got kind of this like apple look to it. And then the pen is kind of floating in there. It's still got the, the wrench and the silicone grease in there just like the Classic does, but it's um, a lot of extra space, a lot of extra stuff going on. So I think they were looking to streamline the packaging a little bit, um, make, the, make the box a little more usable, I guess. Um, it does have, it does have the, lo the label kind of taped on the side here, but um, it's got a little clip. You open it up, you got your warranty card, not warranty, sorry. It's got your, um, what's it called? Instruction card. So it's got, um, all that in here. Oh my gosh, my fingers aren't working. There we go. So it's got all your instructions, which are crystal clear, and I don't need to make a video for you about how to disassemble it, now do I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, that'll be good, that'll come later. But anyway, so here's the contents of the packaging. Same contents you're getting in the old 580 in the uh, Mini. Uh, it's got your Twisby wrench, which you can use to disassemble and reassemble the pen. It's got your little silicone grease, which you can use to grease up the piston and stuff like that. And it's got the pen itself. The pen is in there pretty tight. It's kind of tough to get it out for the first time uh, and subsequent times after that, honestly. Um, you really got to kind of grab the clip, work your fingernails. I recommend grabbing the clip as close up to the finial, the, uh, the top of the pen, as you can so that you don't bend it because it is in there pretty good. And then if you kind of wiggle it side to side as you're pulling it out, it kind of helps to work it loose. And voila, you have your pen. So there are three colors for the Twisby Classic. You've got a blue, which I kind of like the shade of blue. You've got a black and a red, which is really kind of like a maroon, more of a burgundy kind of red, not a bright red or anything like that. Um, so same pen, just three different colors. They are completely opaque. You cannot see any ink or anything like that through these colors. Twisby Classic. Twisby Mini, Twisby 580. So you're probably curious, what is the difference between all these pens? They're the same price, they look kind of similar, all made by the same company, so what is the deal with all of these? Well, the 580 is kind of the original, okay, not the original, 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 that would be the 530, then you have the 540, which replaced it, and then you have the 580, which replaced it. Very similar design between those three pens, just kind of some minor tweaks and improvements and slight slight aesthetic changes and stuff like that. But anyway, so here is the 580. It's, it's the biggest of the bunch. It's got the highest ink capacity of the bunch and it's been around longer. So it's probably more talked about. The Mini came out after that. The Mini is kind of just a shorter version of the same pen. So it's slightly thinner at the grip section. It's a shorter pen overall. It's been designed so that it can actually properly post in the back. Um, and that was pretty much it. Similar nib size, the nibs do not swap between each other, but it's a similar nib size. Then you have the Classic. The Classic came out, it's a thinner version than both pens, so it's longer than the Mini, obviously. It's about the same length as the 580, maybe a little bit shorter, but it is thinner than both of the other pens, and it is not opaque, sorry, it is not a demonstrator, it is opaque, so it does not, you know, show you the full ink level in the pen. Now it does have an ink window in here, so you can see ink kind of floating back and forth, sloshing around a little bit, and you can see when your ink level is getting low, but it does not have that kind of demonstrator thing going on with it. Um, it uses the same nib though as the Twisby Mini. So uh, if you're wanting to replace the nib now, the Twisby Classic as of the making of this video here at the release of the pen in January of 2014, they don't have nib units for the Classic right now. So eventually they might, I don't know. I don't have any information on that at this time. And then the Twisby Classic 
does not post. It just flat out doesn't post. If you want to talk about posting here, you got the 580. Technically, it was not designed to post, but it does. You can post it. However, it posts onto the filler knobs. You can actually, as you turn the cap when it's posted, you can have that piston move up and down and splurt ink all over the place. I haven't really heard of that being a problem in practicality. Um, maybe every now and then somebody will accidentally do that, but technically, because it sits on that filler cap like that, it's not considered posting, even though it does. The Mini, on the other hand, is designed to post. It's got threads on here that are below the filler knob. So the filler knob is a completely separate little knob here that is separated from these threads. And then the cap will thread onto the pen like so. And voila, you can write with it. And as you twist the cap, it just unscrews the cap off the back of the pen. And it does not create the same problem that the 580 would. The Classic, well, it just straight up doesn't post. I mean, it, it goes on there, but it just like, it, it, it doesn't work. It just comes right off. So yeah, I guess if you wanted to scotch tape it or something, you could do that. Or, you know, if you wanted to jam something up in there, a little piece of rubber or something, you could probably get it to stay, but it's really not designed to be that way. So you really need to kind of have this thing unposted. So in that respect, when you're actually writing with the pen, the 580 seems like this gargantuan mammoth anaconda length uh, pen that's really quite long to try to write with posted. A lot of people don't like it, including myself. I usually write with the 580 unposted. The Mini, on the other hand, is great. You know, you post it, rock and roll. It's a little short unposted, so you kind of want to post this one. Classic, you don't get a choice, so uh, it's going to be actually a little bit shorter than the Mini when you actually go to write with it. Uh, however, it's no different really than the 580 unposted, so it's, it's not really a drawback. It's just if you really are hard up about wanting to post, yeah, well, you can't really do that. So the ink capacity uh, is not vastly different on all three of these pens. The ink capacity is really good. So your typical cartridge converter is going to be about a half a milliliter. Uh, the Twisby pens are better. They are, they are at least twice that. So the Mini here actually has the lowest ink capacity at around one milliliter. The Classic is gonna be a little bit higher, around 1.1, 1.2, somewhere around there. And then the 580 is gonna be a little bit higher, around 1.3, 1.4. So it's not an incredibly drastic difference. You know, but if, if you want the absolute most volume of ink that you can possibly get, uh, you know, out of the three of these, go for the, for the 580, I suppose. Uh, but the Classic is pretty good, pretty good compromise there. So just like you have kind of a compromise between the three of these with kind of, I guess you would consider these kind of small, medium, large with the Twisby Classic and the 580. Uh, it's going to be kind of just like the ink capacity, how, you know, the, the Classic is kind of in the middle. It's going to be that same way with weight as well. So the Mini, you're looking at a total weight of 19 grams, give or take, uh, 0.67 ounces, if that is how you prefer to have that done. Uh, the Classic is going to be 24 grams, so 0.85 ounces. And then the 580 is a little bit heavier, 28 grams just right at about one ounce. So none of these are incredibly heavy pens. 28 is kind of in the medium heavy side. 24 is gonna be pretty decent overall. However, when you're writing with it, the body is actually only 16 grams, which is a, a slightly less weight than a Lamy Safari that's posted. So if that gives you any kind of gauge as far as the weight goes for the classic, um, maybe that'll give you more of, a, more of kind of a practical sense of what it's like. So in terms of how they write, how they flow, I don't think you're going to see a significant difference between any of these pens because they're all very similar, nib size, nib setup, feed, all that stuff is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, and then, you know, the grinds on the nibs are all the same. So it's, it's kind of nice in that respect where it kind of eliminates that variable when you're shopping from one pen to another. Um, some other just kind of key aspects I wanted to point out. Um, the clip is slightly different on the Classic. It doesn't have kind of this indentation here at the top like the 580 and the Mini do. Uh, it's still a pretty similar style overall, but it's a little, little simpler design. It does have the finial on the top just like the other ones. It's a little bit smaller, but that's because the top of the pen is a little bit smaller. The whole thing is just a little thinner. 
And it does not have the Twisby logo on the center band. It's just got a plain logo, kind of around the pen like that. So it's a little more nondescript, I guess you could say. And then, um, you know, here it's, aside from just the obvious aesthetic things, um, you know, it's, it's a piston fill just like all the other ones. So that is, is you know, going to be the same on all of these. So one thing to consider with all three of these pens is whenever you're taking off the nib or removing the grip section, um, which is something that you do, you know, even if you're not swapping the nib necessarily, just to clean it or maybe attach it to the Diamond 50 inkwell, which all three of these will fit on the Diamond 50, uh, you know, you may want to take it off every now and then. Well, uh, the design that they have now on the 580 and on the Classic are such that the grip itself, I'll use this pen because it's the easiest one to demonstrate, uh, the blue part is actually going to just free spin. So I can hold that blue part and I can just spin the pen until all eternity and it will just keep on going. Uh, what you really need to do is grab the silver part up here. You don't want to grab the nib, but you grab the silver part because that is what actually attaches to the nib housing here. And that's got the threads here, which actually fit onto the body of the pen. So I can actually leave off that blue part altogether and screw that in place. And I could use a pen like that if I really wanted to. If I wanted to have a super skinny, weird feeling grip section, yeah, I could do that. Uh, however, you know, that kind of weirds some people out when it does that. And it's kind of tapered in such a way that it has to go on in one way. It won't go on in the opposite direction. So that might weird some of you out, but the 580 is the same way. And that is kind of tough for some people to deal with just because that's not how the 540, 530 was. That's not how the Mini is. The Mini is such that if you just grab the grip, uh, you can unscrew the whole thing because it's got these little notches up here that will actually fit onto the housing. But they changed that design um, when they did the 580 and then when they did the, um, the Classic. So just something to be aware of. If you have any questions about the Twisby pens or about anything else fountain pen related, you can always leave me a comment here on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau, or you can ask me on Twitter or on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching today and right on.